Good morning fellows. So we are at the Pinner Driving Test Center and we are going to do a mock test for 145 test route. So the candidate have done this route before. Um, well, not exactly the way uh, with the sat nav says, but he done the practice of this route before and we're going to do a mock test. So we'll see the feedback at the end. So drive on when you're ready and we're going to drive on this left hand side. We're not allowed to go inside the test center. That's why we're just starting the route just outside. The Satna is going to give you the full guidance. Drive on in Italy. So it says take the next road on the left and left again. You will arrive at your destination at 7.55 a.m. And if you can pull up on the left side somewhere safe, please. Drive on when you're ready. At the end of the road, turn right. Chamberlain Way, then take the second left. And right, then take the second left. Not this one, it's a second left. somewhere safe please signal is still on you're nowhere near to the parking there is no indication that your handbrake is up or parking is applied I don't think so you parked is it is it parked oh yeah now it's parked yeah okay. pull up on the left means park on the left so if he tells you just after pull up drive on when you're ready that's a different thing but he wants to see this parking thing is done okay, okay. handbrake if it's a manual car, neutral, then if it's automatic car, put it in a park, cancel the signal, take off the foot brake as well. Because when you touch the foot brake, there's a red light going on behind us, isn't it? Yeah. So park means park, okay? Drive on when you're ready. <clears throat>
yards, turn right, B466, high road east coat. Turn right. About to hit the curve. Drive on when you're ready. In the test, the examiner will not touch the steering wheel. If you hit the car on the on the pavement, well, they they will let you hit the car in the pavement. The tire is gonna hit to the pavement, and if the tire's got burst, cuts or any bulges there, well, that that will be end of your test then, because they will not feel safe to continue the test. Okay. okay, so you, you didn't fail the test, but you they won't continue the test. That's what the wording they were going to use. Okay. So have a look in the mirror. That is my car nice and straight. Then why I'm still going towards the curve? All I need is just stay, keep the straight wheel and hold on and stop. Drive on when you're ready.
300 yards, turn right, Lincroft Avenue, then take the second right. signal and you fail the test oh you're turning there okay then you're still in the business okay but this is not the turn they're expecting you to turn okay that's okay still fine let's go so if you turn this road on the right that's okay they won't make you fail but this is not the turn you were expected to turn okay there was a turn before then that carry on don't worry yeah. so this is the second time the same mistake was happened we're trying to go in a different direction than what the set now has said to you. Try and see the blue line and the white arrow. The, the corner After arrow. 100 yards, turn left, St. Ursula Grove. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. slip the steering wheel between the hands okay <clears throat> there will be a one minor mistake for that if you're repeatedly doing the same thing it could be a failure of the test because repeating minor is equal to a failure of the test so I can how can I stop to full push technique that's what after 80 yards turn left St. Michael's Crescent most of the turn you're doing full push technique turn left only a few turns you are missing this uh, you're slipping the steering wheel so see how you're doing right now do the same thing when you're coming back car on the left turn left break for you then you fail the test okay? okay because it it was a clear junction yeah open junction After 300 yards, you turn very nicely turn right, as well but you should know lane. that car is coming towards us so you have to pick up the speed as soon as you finish the turn if that car is still coming behind us that's why turn right
close to the red car Turn again. Right. And this is failure because your speed was over 20 and there was only nearly less than half a foot gap between you and the red car. And there is no reason for you to stay that close. There was plenty of room available on your right hand side. Yeah, isn't it? So why we need why we need to go too close to the red car? Because you want to make your position to your side of the road. That's why, isn't it? That's what your thinking process. I think so. To 200 yards, go fine. left on the roundabout <laughs> and take you the first exit. The car. That's, Marsh road, that's the only then fine thing there. Right. But their rule says if you ever need to come to the close to the car, the speed has to be below 15 or 10. What speed you go do left on the when you do the width restriction the barrier? Exit. When then you're going between the width right. restriction barrier? Yeah. What ten. speed you do? Five. Five to ten. Five. Ten is too much. If you do ten in my lesson, well, you will be uh, taking another lesson for that uh, width restriction barrier then. Isn't it? <laughs> five miles, sir. Five mile, okay? okay? Five mile you're doing with the width restriction barrier when you're going in between them, oh. right? So okay. it's a similar case. So the car, the between the distance between your car and the car parked on your left After is less than yards, a foot. Keep while right, you're at over then take speed, the then. second left. If someone's coming behind of that car, do right, you have a judgment then to stop? Take now? the second left. So at this point, the sat nav is gonna stop working for in the during actual After test. After two hundred yards, okay, so they will give you a verbal Chapel instruction. Lane. Okay. So I'll give you the instruction for now because there will be some confusing instructions going to come. So after the bend there will be a zebra crossing and you're turning left just after the zebra crossing. Turning left after. Turn the left. Crossing. That's the one. Now just to let you know that this zebra crossing at the moment is closed. Can you see the sign? Yeah. yeah? It's closed. But people still try to cross the road because there is no other way for them to go and cross the road. So just be mindful of them. Okay? okay. They haven't got a priority, but you have to give them a priority if they are on the road. Okay? Yeah. If they step on the road, then you have to let them go first. But other than that, there is no zebra at the moment. You see that? You just take turn left here. So just keep an eye on this junction it's, it's, because it's very very busy junction. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, West End Lane. Then take the second left. Slow down and stay on the yellow line. Okay, that's drive on the yellow line. It's okay, but slow down like this. <clears throat> Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Then take the second left.
at the end of the road, turn left, B466, Cuckoo Hill. Turn left. Turning left. That's the one. That's it. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, B472 Joel Street. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. So you fail the test because you need to understand that you have already inside the roundabout this is the third time I'm trying to explain to you the same thing you already inside the roundabout and you're still watching on your right hand side and stopping for the oncoming vehicle who is coming from your right how that's gonna be look like yeah, you already inside the roundabout yeah, you have to get going and clear the roundabout so when you entered the roundabout, was that car there? No, but I'm looking for last time. That's, that's it. That's what I'm trying to say. If the car is there at the white line, then you can't enter. But if you entered already inside the roundabout, don't worry about that car. They know. They know that you already entered into it. They're expecting you to clear it. So that they can clear from behind, from behind you. Okay?
yards, turn right, Tolkan Drive. position but look your signals got cancelled okay and you need to wait here if oncoming vehicles are coming you wait here you don't let your shoulder cross this island on your right hand side just just make a one turn and wait and go that's it go 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 don't invite the lady. It's not she's not at the zipta crossing, isn't it? No. So don't invite her. So how are you going to how how your signals? I mean, how your uh, um, driving is sending her a signal is you slowly going and watching her as well, like looking into her eyes. That means you inviting her to cross the road, which you don't want to. Okay. Come back to the left completely towards the yellow line. That's it. And you go. After 100 yards, bear right, Harlan Drive. Bear right. of the road, turn left, Chamberlain Way. Turn left. road on the left next road on the left car parked on the left hand side there yeah so that one uh, blue one yeah go behind the black uh, the blue car yeah so we just create the situation what you just did earlier so there was an oncoming vehicle is coming okay. and then right. you was waited here a bit more close stop you waited here yeah to right. let the car go first thing first you are not inside fully you're not on your left hand side which is still okay because there is a space on the right how are you gonna go from here now how much turn is required this one car but i go to how much turn is required how much turn you need to steering quarter uh, turn half turn one full turn 
or one and half ton? One and half. How much we did? Half sorry. So, was that enough clearance from the left of your car in the blue vehicle? No. Do you think so your examiner will be happy about this? Hmm? No. So why we want to fail for the silly reasons? Show me this one again then. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and then get it out. Look at this. Wow. That's how you do it. Look at the speed as well. Below five mile. Okay. You understood, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Don't make yourself into the position where they force, like you forcing them to fail you. Do you understand? You, they don't want to fail you. We're creating something for them, which, which let them, like we're forcing them to fail ourselves. So we're taking the right and right again, and that will be end of your test. But technically, we won't go inside because there will be a test will start it. So we go back to the left. If you're not sure, don't go. I'm again telling you, don't let examiner use his brake or his mouth or his hand. If you're not sure that I can't get through, stop, do something else, but don't go into the hazard. That's it, you know how to do the reverse. You're allowed to do the reverse in the test as well. If you're not sure that he's not gonna make it, you're not gonna make it, that's it. Don't trust on the examiner. Because if you trust on him, well, then he is not trusting on you then, okay? All right, so we're going to end this recording here because this is the end of your test. And we're turning left here. Just go back to the left, please. But wait for him to go first. And now we can go. Okay, so we already explained everything um, during the test route. So what was your mistakes and everything. So if you just look at this video again, then you will realize, okay? So in my opinion, you failed the test where that, um, no, no. where that, yeah, where that roundabout, the, the guy, he braked for you. I mean, you actually braked the car and he braked after you, okay? All right. Thanks for watching this video. Let us know if you need any comment, anything in the comments so we can help you out with the more videos. Thanks.